Welcome along, fellow time travelers and strange historians. And this time around, we're going to travel back in time to check out some of my favorite photos of historic rock and pop star mansions. You're going to see some really cool snaps, some of which you may have never seen before. Before I begin, please like and share this episode and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now please join me around the campfire. This is Elton John. <laughs> Do I really need to say this? All right, I'm going to say it. For those who don't know, Elton John is a British singer, songwriter, and pianist. Is a pianist or pianist? Let me know in the comments below. He's one of the most iconic and successful musicians in the history of popular music. In 1974, Elton John paid 400,000 pounds for Woodside. A large detached house with 37 acres of gardens in Old Windsor, on the edge of Windsor Great Park. You know, George Harrison was rolling in dough in 1970. Yes, George Harrison was able to acquire Friar Park, which we all know and love. But these rock stars just had so much money and they could buy country estates left and right, up and down, inside and out. In fact, that is what this series is all about. So please subscribe to my channel so you can hear parts 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and however number we end up doing. Now check this out. Woodside was originally built in the 1500s for Henry VIII's surgeon. And so you can imagine the surgeon just sitting around on a Saturday minding his own business, enjoying some tea and scones, and he looks out the window and he sees an emergency flag over at Windsor Castle and he's like, oh my god, I don't have time to finish my scone. I gotta head over there. There's an emergency. And then he would get in his horse-drawn carriage and work his way over to Windsor Castle and do the types of things that surgeons did back then. The house subsequently burnt down and has been rebuilt three times. You'll be happy to know that the Rococo Gardens of Woodside were laid out in the mid-18th century. That's the 1700s. Woodside was advertised for sale in The Times in July of 1849, and here's what it said, quote, A substantial mansion of the Elizabethan style of architecture situated in a small park, studded with venerable old oaks and other valuable timber. The estate was listed at 122 acres, including a small farm, walled gardens, beautiful pleasure grounds, a conservatory, an ornamental cottage residence, and farmhouse buildings. In 1988, Elton decided to refurbish and redesign Woodside. What Elton wanted was an English country house that, quote, resembled the seat of a well-established family with their objects accumulated over successive generations, end quote. The contents of his house were sold at an auction for over 8 million bucks through a Sotheby's auction in September of 1988. Once the refurbishment was all taken care of, the house had eight bedrooms, five reception rooms, a billiard room, and a squash court, and 37 acres of grounds. The drive to get there is pretty cool. The entrance to the house is lined with white rose bushes. The gardens are really incredible. In fact, there is a life-size fiberglass T-Rex named Daisy that has eyes which light up when people pass by. Daisy was moved into the woodland by helicopter when the gardens were redesigned, and she was a present to Elton John from Ringo Starr. Now, how do you think that happened? I'll tell you. The T-Rex was previously in the gardens of Ringo's Tinhurst Park. On the off chance you don't know, Tinhurst Park was, and still is, a 72-acre estate outside of Ascot that Ringo had purchased from John Lennon in 1973. And so when Ringo sold Tinhurst Park in 1988, the T-Rex was given to Elton John. So, what do you think of Woodside if you were rolling in dough? Would you buy and live in a place like that? I gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure if I would. To me, it seems a bit too formal and kind of stuffy. But you might feel differently, and if so, please let me know in the comments below. By the way, I don't know who took some of the photos that I have shown in this show. So if you do, please let me know so I can respectfully give them the credit that they deserve. At this point, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this time travel adventure to check out some of my favorite photos of historic mansions owned by rock and pop stars. Kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because there will be more videos like this one, and I hope you check those out too. Please check out the links below to learn how to support my research and productions. Specifically, I'd really appreciate it if you could become a member of my channel, and or join me on Patreon. You can also leave a super thanks in the comments below. Kindly be kind to all non-human animals, and please don't eat them, they don't like that. Remember, for the benefit of compassion for all living things, and their own health, 
All of the beetles chose a plant-based diet. And please do yourself a favor and go to a local shelter and adopt a cat or a dog. You and they will be very glad that you did. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys. <laughs>